born with fear and rejoice in him with trembling. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Alleluia. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Thou must save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Shall await me until thou shalt reward me. 
unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. With the archangels, let us praise the resurrection of Christ. He is our Savior, our Redeemer. He is coming with us in glory and mighty power to judge the world which he made. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. The angel proclaimed and Mary Master. He told the women, come see the place where he lay. He is risen as he said, for he is almighty. We worship the only immortal one. Have mercy on us, O Christ the Iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand, for with thee is forgiveness. By thy cross thou didst destroy the curse of the tree. By thy burial thou didst slay the dominion of death. By thy rising thou didst enlighten the race of man. O benefactor Christ our God, I waited for thee, O Lord. My soul has waited for thy word. My soul has hoped in the Lord. The gates of death open to thee from fear, O Lord. When the guards of hell saw thee, they were afraid. For thou didst demolish the gates of brass and smash the iron chains. Thou hast led from the darkness and the shadows of death, and has broken our bonds. In the first tone, from the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope in the Lord. I was in trouble. And living land, but I saw the ground with sin, and reaped with the sickle the ears of slothfulness. In thick sheaves I garnered my actions, but we know the knowledge on the threshing floor of repentance. But I beg thee, my God, the preternal husband. With the wind of thy loving kindness winnow the chaff of my works, and grant to my soul the coin of forgiveness. Shut me in thy heavenly storehouse and save me. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. I was in trust, did with a sinless and living land, but I sowed the ground with sin, and reaped with a sickle the ears of slothfulness. In thick sheaves I guarded my actions, but winnowed them not on the threshing floor of repentance. But I beg thee, my God, the pre-eternal husbandman, with the wind of thy loving kindness, winnow the chaff of my works, and grant to my soul the coin of forgiveness. Shut me in thy heavenly storehouse and save me. Praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye peoples. Brethren, let us learn the meaning of this mystery. For when the prodigal son ran back from sin to his father's house, 
His loving Father came out to meet him and kissed him. He restored to the prodigals the tokens of his proper glory. And mystically made glad a life sacrificing the fatted calf. Let our lives then be worthy of the loving Father who has offered sacrifice. And of the glorious victim who is the Savior of our soul. For his mercy has prevailed over us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Brethren, let us learn the meaning of this mystery. For when the prodigal son ran back from sin to his father's house, his loving father came out to meet him and kissed him. He restored to the prodigal the tokens of his proper glory. And mystically he made glad a lie, sacrificing the fatted calf. Let our lives then be worthy of the loving Father who has offered sacrifice, and of the glorious victim who is the Savior of our souls. Glory in the second tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. have I deprived myself? From what a kingdom in my misery have I fallen? I have wasted the riches that were given to me. I have transgressed the commandment. Alas, unhappy soul, thou art henceforth condemned to the eternal. Therefore, before thee, and cry out to Christ our God, receive me as the prodigal son of God, and have mercy on me. Now and ever the dogmatic thought in the same tone, now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. The shadow of the law passed when grace came, as the bush burned yet was not consumed. So the virgin gave birth yet remained a virgin. The sun
and to their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Thou art merciful, God, and all the sky and fire, to be the reason of the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and now to me, to me, to me.
our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Grant this, o Lord. Our memory, our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Smooth ye, O Lord. Now all to good God, let us not find out to be priests in that glory, to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto a salvation. Sins 
trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one. The light is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit now and ever in us
against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause were my enemies. Thou hast broken the teeth of sinners. Salvation belongs to the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, neither chasten me in thy wrath, for thine arrows are stuck fast in me, and thou hast pressed thy hand heavily upon me. For there is no help in my flesh in the face of thy wrath. There is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities have gone over my head. They have weighed upon me like a heavy burden. My wounds stank and festered in the face of my foolishness. I was wretched and bowed down unto the end. I went mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with mockeries and there is no help in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hidden from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength has failed me, and even the light of mine eyes is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew near and stood before me, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought my soul used violence, and they that sought evils for me spoke empty things and devised deceits all the day long. But I was like a deaf man and heard not, and as a speechless man not opening his mouth. And I became as a man that hears not, and whose mouth has no reproof. For in thee, O Lord, have I hope. Thou wilt hear, O Lord, my God. For I hope that my enemies never rejoice over me. For when my feet were shaken, they spoke boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my grief is continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity, and my sorrow for my sin. But my enemies live and are stronger than I, and they that hate me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good have slandered me because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Attend unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Attend unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, I keep watch for thee at dawn. My soul is thirsted for thee. How often has my flesh longed for thee in a barren, trackless, and waterless land? So I have appeared before thee in the sanctuary to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. Let my soul be filled as with marrow and fat, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. If I remembered thee upon my bed at dawn, I did meditate on thee. For thou hast been my helper, and in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul is cleaved to thee, thy right hand has upheld me. But they sought after my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be delivered up to the edge of the sword. They shall be portions for foxes, but the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that swears by him shall be praised for the mouth of them that speak unjust things is stopped. At dawn I did meditate on thee, for thou hast been my helper, 
and in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul has cleaved to thee, thy right hand has upheld me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear to my supplication, for my soul is filled with evils, and my life has drawn nigh unto hell. I have been counted with them that go down to the pit. I am become a man without help, free among the dead, like the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cast off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit in dark places and in the shadow of death. Thine anger lies hard upon me, and thou hast brought all thy waves upon me. Thou hast removed mine acquaintances far from me. They made me an abomination to themselves. I have been delivered up, and I have not gone forth. Mine eyes grew weak from poverty. I cried unto thee, O Lord, all the day long. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou work wonders for the dead? Or shall physicians raise them up, that they shall praise thee? Shall anyone tell of thy mercy in the grave, and of thy truth in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in darkness, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why dost thou cast off my prayer, and turnest thy face away from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, and after I was exalted, I was humbled and distressed. Thy wrath passed over me, and thy terrors greatly troubled me. They encircled me like water all the day long, they surrounded me together. Thou hast put far from me friend and neighbor and mine acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within thee. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all thine iniquities and who heals all thy diseases. Who redeems thy life from corruption. Who crowns thee with mercy and compassion. Who satisfies thy desire with good things, so that thy youth shall be renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes mercy and judgment for all of them that are wrong. He made known his ways unto Moses, his will to the children of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. His wrath will not endure until the end, neither will he be angry forever. He has not dealt with us according to our iniquities, nor rewarded us according to our sins. As high as heaven is above the earth, so the Lord has strengthened his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our iniquities from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion upon them that fear him. For he knows our fashioning, he has remembered that we are dust. As for men his days are like grass, as a flower of the field shall he flourish. For the wind passes over, and it shall be no more. And no longer shall it know the place thereof, but the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting, upon them that fear him and his righteousness to children's children, to keep them that keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in the heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength that do his word, hearkening to the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, O all his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplication. In thy truth hearken unto me, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, he has humbled my life to the earth, he has set me in dark places like those long dead. And my spirit was despondent within me, my heart within me was troubled. I remembered the days of old, I meditated on all thy deeds. On the works of thy hands do I meditate. I spread forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsts for thee like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit has failed. Turn not thy face from me, lest I become like them that go down to the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for I have hoped in thee. Make known to me, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk. For I have lifted my soul up to thee, deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. I have fled unto thee for refuge, teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Thou shalt quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. In thy righteousness thou shalt bring forth, bring my soul out of affliction. 
and in the meat. Thy mercy, thou wilt lay waste my enemies, and wilt destroy all them that afflict my soul. For I am thy servant, hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me in, the right, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For his beatitude, our metropolitan Tikhon, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our command right surges with all his brotherhood in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy habitation, for this village, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. Unto thee, our to all glory, Father, into the Son, into the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of age. Amen. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. All nations compassed me round about. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. I shall not die, but live and declare the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and 
ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Be our Lord thought and exceedingly glorious are all thy mysteries of Theotokos, sealed in purity and preserved in virginity. Thou hast truly become the mother who gave birth to the true God. Supplicate him to save our souls. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. The noble Joseph, when he had taken down thy most pure body from the tree, wrapped it in fine linen and anointed it with spices and placed it in a new tomb. But thou didst rise on the third day, O Lord, granting the world great mercy. Arise, O Lord my God, let thy hand be lifted up, forget not the poor forever. The angel came to the myrrh-bearing women at the tomb and said, Myrrh is fitting for the dead, but Christ has shown himself a stranger to corruption. So proclaim, the Lord is risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most glorious art thou, O Virgin Theotokos, for through the cross of thy Son, hell is brought down, and death is slain, and we who were dead have risen and been granted life. We have obtained paradise, our ancient delight. So we give thanks to Christ our God and glorify him, for he alone is mighty and merciful. Praise ye the name of the Lord, give praise for ye servants of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, our God. 
granting the world great mercy. I raise the eyes of my heart to thee in heaven, O Savior, save me by thy radiance. Have mercy, O my Christ, on us who fail. the means to turn back to thee in repentance before the end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. To the Holy Spirit belong sanctification and the guidance of creation, for he is God, consubstantial with the Father and the Word. And then wisdom of Rekimenon in the second poem, arise, Lord my God, and the decree which thou hast commanded, and the assembly of peoples will surround thee. Arise, O Lord my God, in the decree which thou hast commanded, and the assembly of peoples will surround thee. O Lord my God, in thee have I put my trust, save thee. They looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. 
bridge. And then she picked us up where they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. And he said unto them, Be not affrighted. Ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go your way to his disciples and Peter, that he joined before you into Galilee. There shall you see him as he said unto you. And they went out quickly and fled from the sepulchre, for they trembled and were amazed. Neither said they anything to any man, for they Bye. 
save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassion. Exalt the one of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies through the intercessions of our all-pure Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable body of this powers of heaven, by the supplication of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and all-audible apostles, of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, of our father among the saints, Nicholas the Wonder Worker, Archbishop of Myra and Nicaea, of our fathers among the saints, Innocent, Metropolitan of Moscow, and Lightener of the Aleuts, the Holy Confessor Tikhon, Patriarch of Moscow, and Lightener of North America, and founder of this hab holy habitation, Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, Nikolai of Zicha, who labored in America, and John the Wonder Worker, Archbishop of Shanghai and San Francisco, of the Holy, Glorious, and Right Victorious Martyrs, Juvenali, the Proto Martyr of America, and his companion, and the higher martyrs John and Alexander, the holy and glorious great martyr George, the trophy bearer, the holy great martyr and healer Consolamon, the holy great martyr Barbara, the holy martyr Peter the Aleut, of our venerable and God bearing fathers who shone forth in ascetic life, Seraphim of Sarab and Herman the Wonder Worker of Alaska and all America, of the holy and righteous priests Jacob and Lightener of Alaska and Alexis of Wilkesbury in Minneapolis, of St. Tikhon of Zadonsk, our heavenly patron, the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna. And of all thy saints, we beseech thee, O most merciful Lord, hearken to us sinners who make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Passion, love for mankind, and thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. by not obeying thy commandment, was condemned by thy cross, O all good Lord. For as one feeble, he attacked thee as though thou wast mortal, but he recoiled from the power of thine authority, exposing his weakness. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Thou didst come into the world, O deliverer of the human race, and author of incorruptible life. For by thy resurrection thou didst break asunder the bonds of death, this do we glorify, for gloriously hast thou been glorified. Glory to thy precious cross and resurrection, O Lord. Through the suffering of thy flesh, O Christ, thou becamest the strength of the weak, the resurrection of the fallen, and the incorruption of the dead, for thou hast been glorified. Oh, have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O Jesus, my God, as the prodigal son, now accept me also in repentance. All my life I have lived in carelessness and provoked thee to anger. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The divine wealth that once thou gavest me I have sinfully wasted. I have departed far from thee and lived as the prodigal. O compassionate Father, accept me also now as I return. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Open thy fatherly embrace now and accept me also as the prodigal son, O most merciful Lord, that I may glorify thee with thanksgiving. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O God, bestow the fullness of thy grace upon me. Be thou my benefactor, and at the holy prayers of thy mother pass over the multitude of my offenses. The desert, the barren church of the Gentiles, has blossomed like a lily at thy coming, O Lord, by which my heart has been established. Glory to
to thy holy resurrection, O Lord, during thy passion, O thou who established all things by thy divine gesture, creation was changed, beholding thee in pauper's form, mocked by the iniquitous. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord, with thy hand that hath fashioned me from the dust according to thine image, and having descended into hell, O Christ, with thyself thou didst raise me up, who, because of my sins, had again decayed into the dust of death. Glory to thy precious cross and resurrection, O Lord. The iniquitous counted thee among the dead, O Christ, but after thy resurrection thou didst appear to the women, all radiant, crowned in glory, our King. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Utterly beside myself, I have clung in madness to the sin suggested to me by the passions. But accept me, O Christ, as the prodigal. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. With the words of the prodigal I cry aloud, I have sinned, O Father. Like him, receive me now in thine embrace, and reject me not. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Open thine arms, O Christ, and in loving kindness receive me as I return from a far country of sin and passions. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O fair among women, my many sins have brought me to poverty. Enrich me, O pure virgin, with the vision of beauty that I may glorify thee.
Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O pure Theotokos, virgin, who hast not known man, thou art the only guardian and protection of the faithful. Deliver from danger and affliction and distress all who have put their hope in thee, O maiden, and save our souls by thy divine intercession. Lord, this come from a virgin, not an ambassador or an angel, but the Lord himself incarnate, and thou didst save me the whole man. Therefore I cry out to thee, glory to thy power. thy holy resurrection, O Lord. O God, my master, thou standest before the judgment seat as one condemned, not opening thy mouth, bringing forth judgment on behalf of the Gentiles. Thereby thou hast wrought salvation for the whole world through thy passion, O Christ. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Through thy passion, O Christ, the armaments of the enemy failed, and by thy descent into Hades the dwellings of the adversary were destroyed, and the audacity of the tyrant was set at naught. Glory to thy precious cross and resurrection, O Lord. <coughs> Beholding thee nailed to the tree, O Christ, the virgin who gave birth to thee without pain endured a mother's grief. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The wealth of blessings which thou gavest me, Heavenly Father, have I wrongly wasted and become the slave of strangers. Therefore I cry aloud to thee, I have sinned against thee. Receive me like the prodigal of old, opening thine arms to me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have become enslaved to every evil, and in my wretchedness I have bowed down before the demons that provoke the passions. Through heedlessness I have lost possession of myself. O Savior, Heavenly Father, take pity on me as I flee for refuge to thy many mercies. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I am filled with every shameful thing, and dare not look up at the height of heaven, for I have foolishly bowed down to sin. But now I return and cry aloud in compunction, I have sinned against thee, receive me, King of all. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Thou art the help of men, the sure hope of all Christians, O virgin undefiled, and the refuge of the saved. Save me by thy motherly intercessions, and count me worthy of the life to come. Thou hast become the mediator between God and mortals, O Christ God, for through thee, O Master, from the night of ignorance, we have gained access to thy Father, the source of light. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Thou didst break the arrogant boldness of the nations, as if they were cedars, O Christ the Master. For it was thy will to be lifted up in the flesh upon the cypress, the pine, and the cedar. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. They laid thee dead and without breath in a deep pit, O Christ. Yet through thy wounds thou didst raise up with thyself the forgotten dead who slept in the graves. Glory to thy precious cross and resurrection, O Lord. The first Adam refused to fast, and so he ate of the deadly tree. Yet his sin was blotted out when the second Adam ascended the cross. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I was enslaved to strangers in exile in the land of corruption, and I was filled with shame. But now I return, merciful Lord, and cry to thee, I have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Accept me now, O Heavenly Father, in thy fatherly compassion as I return from evil, and reject me not in thine exceeding mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I have angered thee beyond measure, O Christ, and I dare not look up at the height of heaven. But knowing thy compassion, merciful Lord, I cry, I have sinned, be merciful to me, and save me. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. O holy virgin, full of grace, who hast borne the propitiation of all, by thy prayers lighten the heavy burden of my sins. Sins, I call on the unfathomable abyss of thy compassion. 
Lead me up out of corruption, O Lord. Glory to thy holy <coughs> resurrection, O Lord. The righteous Lord was condemned as a malefactor and nailed to the tree with wicked men. Through his blood, he has granted forgiveness to the guilty. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Through one man, the first Adam, death entered into the world, and through the one Son of God, the resurrection has been revealed. Glory to thy precious cross and resurrection, O Lord. Thou didst set the cherubim as guardians of the tree of life against fallen Adam, but in beholding thee, the doors were opened again, for thou didst appear, escorting the thief into paradise. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The depths of sin ever holds me fast, and the tempest of transgressions overwhelms me. Pilot me, O Christ my God, to the haven of life, and save me, King of glory. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have wasted in evil living the riches which the Father gave me, and now am brought to <coughs> poverty. I am filled with shame and enslaved to fruitless thoughts. Therefore I cry to thee, who lovest mankind, take pity on me and save me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. I am wasted with hunger, deprived of every blessing, and in exile from thy presence, O Christ supreme in loving kindness. Take pity on me as I now return, and save me as I sing the praises of thy love for mankind. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O maiden who has conceived Christ the Savior and Master, though in my poverty I lack all good, count me worthy of salvation, O pure virgin, that I may sing the praises of thy majesty. I am the fast, O Savior, in the death of sin, and overwhelmed by the sea of life. But as thou art brought out Jonah from the belly of the whale, bring me out from the passions and sin. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, Lord, with thy grace. Have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Lord, Lord. Thou art the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Forgotten thy glory, O Father, and among sinners I have scattered the riches thou hast given me. Therefore I cry to thee like the prodigal, I have sinned before thee, O compassionate Father. Receive me as an attendant and make me as one. Savior teaches us every day with his own voice. Let us therefore <coughs> hearken to the scriptures concerning the prodigal who became wise once more. And with faith, let us follow the good example of his repentance. With humbleness of heart, let us cry out to him who knows all secrets. We have sinned against thee, merciful Father, and are not, and are not worthy ever again to be called thy children as before. But since thou art by nature full of love for man, accept me and make me as one of thy hired servants. Resurrection, O Lord, in thy loving kindness, O Master, thou couldst not bear to see man tormented by death, and so becoming man, thou didst come to him and save him by thy blood. 
blessed and most glorious is the God of our Father. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Seeing thee arrayed in the vesture of vengeance, O Christ, the gatekeeper of Hades were afraid, for thou didst come to slay the mindless tyrant. Blessed and most glorious is the God of our fathers. Glory to thy precious cross and resurrection, O Lord. Thou didst save him who in Eden was wounded by the envious venom of the serpent, the slayer of man. For by thy voluntary passion thou didst heal the bite he willingly took. Most divine and most glorious is the God of our fathers. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have bowed down miserably to the pleasures of the body and have become wholly enslaved to the demons that provoke the passions. And I have become a stranger to thee who lovest mankind. But now I cry with the voice of the prodigal, I have sinned, O Christ, despise me not, for thou alone art merciful. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I call out, I have sinned, and I dare not look up at the height of heaven, O King of all. For in my foolishness I alone have angered thee, rejecting thy commandments. Therefore, since thou alone art good, cast me not away from thy presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. At the prayers of the apostles, the prophets, the saints, the holy martyrs, and the righteous, O Christ my Lord, forgive me all the offenses which have provoked thee to anger in thy goodness, and I shall sing thy praises forevermore. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, thou art the most glorious, thou art more glorious than the cherubim and seraphim and all the heavenly hosts. With them, O virgin undefiled, entreat him who took flesh from thee, God the Word from the Father without beginning, that we may all be counted worthy of eternal blessings. What fiery furnace in Babylon was divided in section and the divine command, burning up the Chaldeans but refreshing the faithful as they sang, all ye works of the Lord, bless the Lord. Thy holy resurrection, O Lord, beholding the vesture of thy flesh stained with thy blood, O Christ, the ranks of the angels were filled with fear and trembling at thy great long suffering, crying aloud, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. By thy resurrection, all compassionate Lord, thou hast clothed my mortality and immortality. Wherefore, with gratitude and rejoicing, thy chosen people sing to thee, O Christ, crying aloud, death is swallowed up in victory. Glory to thy precious cross and resurrection, O Lord, O thou who art rich in mercy. Thou wast seen nailed to the cross and buried of thine own will, and thou didst arise on the third day, O lover of man, delivering us who sing with faith. Let all creation praise the Lord and exalt him supremely for all ages. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O thou who in great mercy hast come down upon earth to save the world through thy voluntary poverty, in thy compassion save me, for I am poor in all good works. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have departed far from thy commandments, and in utter wretchedness I am enslaved to the deceiver. But now I turn back as the prodigal of old. Accept me as I fall before thee, heavenly Father. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Lord. Ruled by corrupting thoughts, I am full of darkness and separated far from thee, and I have lost all possession of myself. O merciful Lord, therefore save me as I fall before thee in repentance. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O pure Mother of God, the only restoration of the fallen, raise me up, for I am wholly crushed and humbled by every kind of sin. We praise, bless, and worship the Lord, singing and exalting Him throughout all ages. Let us praise Him. Cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the 
seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. Truth they all talk, O we magnify thee. For he has recorded the lowest state of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. Truth, they all talk, O we magnify thee. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word, Truth, they O talk, O we magnify thee. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. Truth, they all talk, O we magnify thee. He has put down the mighty from their thrones, and exalted those of low degree. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. Truth, they O talk, O we magnify thee. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. As he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his posterity forever. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the word. Truth they all talk, us we magnify. The Son of the Father without beginning, God the Lord has appeared to us in flesh of a virgin, to give light to what is darkened, and to gather together what is scattered. Therefore we magnify the all praise they all talk. The thrice rich tree of thine all pure cross was planted on Golgotha as in paradise, O Savior, and watered with the divine blood and water of thy side, as by a spring of Christ it has produced the fruit of life for us. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Crucified, O omnipotent Lord, thou didst overthrow the mighty and raising up human nature, which lay below in the stronghold of Hades, thou didst set it upon the Father's throne. And worshipping thee, who shalt come again in the flesh, we magnify thee. Glory to thy precious cross and resurrection, O Lord. On Golgotha thou wast lifted up on the cross, like a lamb between the condemned, O Christ. And thou wast pierced in the side by a spear. In that thou art good, thou didst give life to us, who are made of dust, who honor thy divine resurrection with faith. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Behold, O Christ, the affliction of my heart. Behold my turning back. Behold my tears, O Savior, and despise me not, but embrace me once again in thy compassion and count me with the multitude of the saved, that with thanksgiving I may sing the praises of thy mercy. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. As the thief I cry to thee, remember me. As the publican with eyes cast down to earth, I beat my breast and say, be merciful. 
as the prodigal deliver me from every evil, O King, who pities all, that I may sing the praises of thy boundless compassion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Groan now, my soul, all wretched, and cry aloud to Christ, O Lord, who for my sake hast become poor of thine own will. In my poverty I lack every good work. Make me rich with the abundance of thy blessings, for thou art alone art full of love and mercy. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. I pray thee, virgin, through thy light-giving intercessions, enlighten the eyes of my mind, darkened by evil, and lead me into the paths of repentance. So shall I sing thy praises as is right, for thou hast given flesh to the word that is beyond all speech. when they witnessed the stone rolled away for they saw a young man sitting on the tomb who said to them behold Christ is risen tell Peter and the disciples make haste to Galilee for there he shall appear to you just as he foretold to his friends glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit the wealth of grace that thou hast given me in my wretchedness I have wasted sinfully all to no purpose I have left my true home and as the prodigal I have scattered my riches deceitfully among the demons. But now on my return accept me as the prodigal, merciful Father, and save me, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Virgin, Mother of God, boast and glory of the apostles, martyrs, prophets, and the saints, gain the gracious favor of thy Son and Lord towards us thy servants, when he shall sit to judge each man according to his due. In the second tone, let every breath praise the Lord. Let every breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the highest. To the all God is true. A song. Praise him, all ye angels of his. Praise him, all his hosts. To the O God is true. A song. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Every breath and creature glorifies thee, O Lord, for thou didst destroy death by thy cross to show the nations thy resurrection from the dead. For thou alone art the lover of man. In the same tone, praise 
him with tuneful cymbals, praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let every breath praise the Lord. I come before thee, Lord, with the cry of the prodigal. I have sinned in thy sight, gracious Master. I have wasted the riches of thy gifts of grace. But receive me in repentance, O Savior, and save me. In the fourth tone, arise, O Lord my God, let thy hand be lifted high. Forget not thy poor forever. As the prodigal son, I come to thee, O merciful Lord. I have wasted my whole life in a foreign land. I have scattered the wealth which thou gavest me, O Father. Receive me in repentance, O God, and have mercy on me. In the eighth tone, I will confess thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all thy wonders. As the prodigal, I have wasted the riches which the Father gave me. I have spent them all and now am destitute, dwelling in the land of evil citizens. No longer can I bear to live among them, but turning back I cry to the O merciful Father. I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am not worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants, O God, and have mercy on me. Glory in the sixth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O loving Father, I have departed far from thee, but forsake me not, neither reject me from thy kingdom. The evil enemy has stripped me and taken all my wealth. I have wasted like the prodigal the grace given to my soul, but now I have arisen and returned, and to thee I cry aloud. Make me as one of thy higher servants. For my sake on the cross thou hast stretched out thy sinless hands to snatch me from the evil beast and to clothe me once again in my first raiment. For thou alone art full of mercy. Now and ever in the second tone, and now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most blessed art thou, O Virgin Theotokos, for through him who became incarnate of thee, has held and captured and had him recalled. The curse has been annulled and he set free. Death has been slain and we are given life. Therefore we cry aloud in praise. Blessed art thou, O Christ, our God, who art thus well pleased. Glory to thee. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good much towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, O Lord, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. 
Patriarchs, and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy habitation, for all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the brotherhood of this holy monastery. 
for the seminarians, faculty, staff, alumni, pilgrims, and benefactors of this holy habitation and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Now, our merciful God, and let us mankind unto thee, we send our glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of age.
Mary and the women arrived with myrrh, not knowing how they could obtain their desire. The stone was taken away from the tomb, and a divine youth stilled the turmoil of their souls, telling them the Lord Jesus is risen, announced to his preachers and disciples that they should go to Galilee to behold him there, risen from the dead as Lord and giver of life. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I will sing of mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord. I will sing and have understanding in a blameless way. O oh, when wilt thou come unto me? In the midst of my house I have walked in the innocence of my heart. I have said no lawless thing before mine eyes. I have hated the workers of transgression. A perverse heart has not cleaved unto me. The wicked man who turned from me I did not know. Him who speaks secretly against his neighbor have I driven away from me. He who has a proud eye and an insatiable heart, with him I have not eaten. Mine eyes are upon the faithful of the land that they might dwell with me. He that walked in a blameless way, he served me. The proud doer dwelt not in the midst of my house. The speaker of unjust things prospered not before mine eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land, that I might utterly destroy all the workers of iniquity from the city of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. When thou didst descend to death, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When thou didst descend to death, O immortal life, thou didst slay hell with the splendor of thy Godhead. And when from the depths thou didst raise up the dead, all the powers of heaven cried out to thee, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to thee, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. I have recklessly forgotten thy glory, O Father. What shall, I, what shall we call thee, O full of grace? Heaven, for thou didst shine forth the sun of righteousness. Paradise, for thou didst blossom forth the flower of incorruption. Virgin, for thou hast remained incorrupt. Pure Mother, for thou hast held in thy holy embrace a Son who is God of all. Beseech him to save our souls. O oh, order my steps according to thy word. Let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusation of men. So will I keep thy commandments. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant and teach me thy statutes. Let, thy mouth, let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may hymn thy glory and majesty all the day long. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Light the kingdom of the power, glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, hear the prayer of your servant, and grant that through your Holy Spirit we may truly know you, and love you, and serve you with all our hearts. Amen. I have recklessly forgotten thy glory, O Father, and among sinners I have scattered the riches thou hast given me. Therefore I cry to thee like the prodigal. I have sinned before thee, O compassionate Father. Receive me, a penitent, and make me as one of thy hired servants. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord of 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 mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord of 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 mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord of 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 mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. 
Thou who at every season and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long-suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in, their hour, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives toward according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with, with thy holy angels that guarded and guided by their hosts. We may attain to the unity of the faith and the, to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word, the true Theotokos. We magnify thee in the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. O God, be bountiful unto us, and bless and shine the light of thy countenance upon us, and have mercy upon all. Amen. Christ, the true light, which illumines the sight, defies every man who cometh into the world. Let the light of thy countenance be sight upon us, that in it we behold the light unapproachable. Guide our footsteps aright in the keeping of thy commandments, through the intercessions of thine all immaculate mother and of all thy saints. Amen. Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on all. 